Welcome back folks, this is lesson number 12 and welcome to any newcomers that's with us. Uh, first thing I want to say is that uh, this area here, this, this is a place called Lindisfarne on Holy Island in Northumberland, beautiful, beautiful spot. It's, it's uh, it, the access to it, the road is, is it's tidal, so you can get caught on there and, and and lose lose your way, but actually just the washes over the over the road, and then there's no access to it for a further eight hours. I think it is. So, but what I've done, you might see there, is I've I've put the colours up if you want, which is the same as yesterday and the day before and the day before that. But what I've done, you know, I mentioned the masking fluid I've got, and what I want to do is I've masked out to save us some time the area of the 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 cattle on the top there. I think it's a castle or a priory, I'm not quite sure what it is, but uh, I've been in there and it's just beautiful, beautiful views. Uh, in, in fact, from from that, from across the, the to the the right is uh, is Bambra Castle, which is gorgeous, and Bambra is beautiful, and sea houses all around there. It's, it's absolutely wonderful if you've never been, go and see it. So anyway, I've, I've masked that out, basically, because I want to wash in a probably a darkish sky, and I want to keep that lighter coloured. So I'll, I'll put that on for a while and see how we go. So that's our colours. There's our sketch, and away we go. First things first, some clean water. Not all over, Get some, leave some gaps, some hard edges. I want some soft and hard edges on this one. See where we go down that, down behind that. See, as I wash over there, that's protected with that, that stuff I've told you about, this masking fluid. So it's, it, it's, it's quite useful. Right. Let's take it a stage further now and put some blue on. This is the ultramarine. Lovely colour. Stick some of that in there. You can form clouds with this by just, well, not painting it. That's the easiest way. And use a, a biggish brush you've got and form your sky. The light today is coming from the right again. So that's handy, isn't it? So it's coming from the right, so remember where the shadows will be and the darks. In fact, I'm, I'm going to darken that there because I wanted the dark behind that, behind that priory or castle or wherever it is. So I'll have some darks down there. Don't like that, don't like that. Let's sort that out. I'm sure we can sort that out later. Probably put a bird in there. That'll solve it. Right, now before I put any any, uh, any dark colour in there, I want to print some of this pinky stuff near the base of the sky, just up here like this. Let's get this pinky stuff in the sky. Getting a bit, it's getting a bit wet down there, so I'm going to be careful. I'll restate that again. So it's, so it's more pinky. Sweep it up into the sky. That's it. Lovely. And some down on this side here as well. That's where the horizon line is. Sweep it up into there. Now I can try and get that cloud formation I want with the the, the uh, ultramarine burn tone. But I can try and get that down from here, from this side, and take it round by by the the priory. I think monks used to, to live here, you know, many years ago. There's not many monks there now, and. Uh, I'm sure they had a wonderful time. 
because it was isolated. Oh, what's this? It's a nice juicy dark, isn't it? Hey? Ho, ho. There's a, certainly some rain on that one. But that's what I wanted. A juicy, juicy dark flower. Don't forget, your water colours dry 50% lighter, so don't get panicking, whatever you do. I just keep my fingers crossed, that's what I do, and it, it sometimes works. So that's the, the clouds behind there. Bring it across here, across the top here. And sweep it down, down to this bit here. Or sweep that up if you like, whichever way you like. And this side here, sweep it up out of the way. It's still wet there, so I've got to be careful. I'm going to get the dreaded hairdryer out soon, folks. I'm sorry about that, but uh, it, it's got to be done. Or I'll never get done. And the, what we can have here is, is I'm going to put some of this dark. Uh, the, the, the light from the right, so I'm going to put some darks on, on the, the shadow side of these, these, these clouds here. Just to sort of indicate where the clouds are, where the, the shadows are. So let's have a look. Yeah, we'll some about here. I'll pinch a bit more of that stuff there. A bit of cloud formation there. Pinch a bit more. And as they go further away, of course, the clouds get smaller, don't they? Or they appear to get smaller. It's because they're in the distance. So there we are, we, we, we're doing that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm fiddling now, so this is when I, I, I get bogged down with fiddling. I don't like fiddling. Right, that'll do. That'll do. Right. Now the next thing I've got to do is get the dreaded hairdryer out and dry this off a bit. I will never get finished. So I'm just going to go around there like that and get rid of the excess water up there. Off the bottom and let's dry it off. So turn your volume down a bit now folks just while I while I do this this hair drain. There's the beast. Here it goes. But it does make a noise. Right that should be should be reasonably dry that now. So what I can do this this area I've masked out I can get rid of that masking fluid hopefully just take it off with my finger like that which will expose the priory. Get rid of that. Most that's on your carpets, by the way, folks. It's, it's, it's dodgy stuff. It's like it's like a carpet, it's like uh, what do you put, put your carpets down with? The copy decks, they used to call it. Right. We can start cooking with gas now. Where where we go? So the next thing I think we should do is I'll put some a distant headland in there or, or, or distant just to give us some depth. Let's just and I'm going to use a, a touch of this this bluey stuff that 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 uh, that dark colour here and I'm going to mix it with here's my palette. I'm going to pinch a bit of this. See, and I'm going to mix it with some some of this here just just a little bit and that should give me with that give me a sort of a distance colour. Let's try that. See what, see what it's like. Ah, that'll do, yeah, just what I need. So keep it going. Oh, I'll go over them, I'll, I'll sort it out later. These are the distant, distant uh, landscape of the, the mainland, because as I said, this is an island. I, I took a painting group here once, uh, had a lovely time. Uh, we were staying at the time, I mean, it's a long way away, but we were staying at Trevelyan College in, in Durham, which, uh, which, was, which was gorgeous. We had a lovely time. And uh, it was just a super holiday. 
when I was working, but, but it's still a holiday to me, because painting's a holiday. So that, that gives us a sort of a, 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 some depth, and I'll put a touch around this side here. It gives a backdrop. That's all it is. Don't put robins in or anything like that. It's just a suggestion of background. That's all. Right. We can start with, uh, I think we can, we can we put, put the priory in now. Now this priory colour is that, that colour I use for this, this sunshine here, which is the raw sienna or ochre, whichever one you've got. And I'll, I'll paint the coat, coat on this like it, just here. Keep it going. There's a flagpole just there, by the way. We'll, we'll sort that out later. I think we'll, we'll find something to put on it, that flagpole. Let's get it, wash it down. This, this is the undercoat. And it's, it's, it's a rock. It's, 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 it's made of rock, obviously. And, uh, and, and stones and, and things like this. And it, it comes down here. And just here, it's, it's it's like a fortress actually. I mean, it was it must have been so safe because you, you couldn't attack it because it's it is it's, it's protected by the sea. I say at, at low tide there's a road across there, and uh, it it it's, it's just a real good setup they've got. And there's this house at the bottom and all this. This it's wonderful. So, and some of the I put these little crevices down because this is this is rocks so I'm, I'm, I'm introducing some rocks into there as well at the same time which is same same to come the kind of rock where the, the, the stones are from that's it that gives me that right and now while that's drying i think what i might do is just put some of this foreground in instead of using that hairdryer again so i'll, I'll, I'll spare you that perhaps uh, this this here is water just here so i'll, I'll put that in that'll that'll help us a bit Put some water in there. Let's get let's get a brush for wa the water brush. That looks a nice brush. Let's decide what colour we're having for this. I think we're going to use some going to use some of that dark colour there. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll use some of this this ultramarine blue. This this blue a bit more blue. But I'm putting some of that burnt umber into it. Can make it a bit darker. I don't want it too too pretty. Because with a with a sky like that, you're going to get darkness, aren't you? So this is a, just an area of, of blue here, like this. Mind the boat. It's a bit small that area. Top of that boat there. Just miss it. Round the side, over these poles. Down to there. Don't matter if you leave some one or two white bits, because they're, they're like white horses, if you like, on, sometimes on the sea. a bit darker, won't it? Because it's closer to you. That'll do. I'm starting to fiddle. I hate it. The dreaded fiddle. So that, that'll do there. That'll sort that bit out. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'll, I'll try and put some of this greenery in first here before I tattle that. I'm trying to work around this, so, so I'm, I'm saving that hairdryer business. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll get my palette over here. This is my palette. And I need to... I've got a spare spot here. You'll notice each time I, I, I finish a painting, I, I wash the palette out. It's got to be start clean. Because dirty palettes gives you dirty paintings. Right, we'll have some green. That, that's the... Cadmium yellow, where I can see it, wait a bit, see. Can you see that cadmium yellow there? That one, that one. 
but you see it on camera, that one. Cadmine yellow, just there. And I'm going to mix some Windsor blue into that, that Windsor blue red shade, they call it. Some Windsor blue. Let's have a touch of that in there. That's a bit too much blue. So what I've got to do, I've got to put some more green in, some more uh, cadmium yellow in. I want to pound it pale than that. It's, it's like grass, you know, so, so you don't get grass that dark. Let me just test it. I always have a test piece of paper, and you should too, just to make sure you, you, you don't muck your painting up. You muck your, muck your, your test piece up. Right, so let, let's, let's, let's put a, a touch, of, touch of greenery in here, shall we? Still a bit, uh, still a bit. Uh, Mind the boat. A little bit just here. I'll do a bit twiddle down here like this. Because it's not a lawn, it's not a lawn over here. And then near the front, I want it to be, be a bit darker because it's it's coming towards me, isn't it? So I'll put a bit more of that dark stuff in there. So we can darken this this grass off a bit. That's it. That's it. It's coming closer to me. Let's get some dark in here. I think this foreground, this is grass as well, but it's in the foreground, so I want to have it nice and bright. So I'm going to put some more cadmium yellow in to brighten this up. Give me a nice bright green. See what I've got. That's a bit not bright enough, that. That's better. I'm just going to flick this in here. Mind the boat. Keep minding that boat. And I'm going to have to use the air drain a bit, folks, because I'm going to have to reach over to do that the the hill or the the mound where the uh, where the, the priory is. up a bit. I don't don't try and do every bloody glass grass I mean it's it's just it's not science it's just a, a green area. I better put that boat in I think because it's it's getting surrounded by stuff and getting nowhere. 
Right, so I'll, I'll, I'll dry that up a bit. Sorry about this, but um, I'll put that there for now. Right, I want to turn up. I've got to paint this. I'll paint this boat in first. That's it. Give us a change. I'll leave that for a while. Now this boat is a white boat actually, but it's got a red gunnel. Now I know this 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 thing that, that's called a gunnel is I found this notedly, I found this because I've been doing a lot of cruising, you know, with I, I, some of these people that know what they're talking about, I've told me what it is. It's a gunnel. And it's it's red. And what it is, it's, you, you, you've probably heard them say it in these old films, ah, oh, we've full to the gunnel. Well, that's what this is. This is the top bit round there, and, and if they put too much stuff in it, the water laps up round the gunnel, and that's not good. So let's, let's put this gunnel in, nice and gently. And while I'm doing this, I'll tell you a secret. When I did that... Uh, Tuscan farm yesterday I think it was when you get old you, you get things wrong and what I did because it was chilly in the shed my studio I thought well I'll slip a jumper on before I go down and I put a jumper on and what did I do I wear the glasses. So I took my glasses off to put my jumper on. Glass, I mean, the spectacles for people from the south. And what, what I mean is the... I put them on, this, on the table, then came down here and painted the whole picture without my glasses on. And when I was doing some little tiny figures, I thought, I'm struggling here, why? It never entered my head that I'd, I'd not got my glasses on. So you see, when you get old, things go wrong. Mind you, it's better than the alternative. And I'm in lockdown, and I don't care because I'm painting. So that's your gunnel. Oh, there's a bit at the back there. Don't forget the, the, the bit at the back. This is the back bit of the gunnel. Just here. You can see that. That'll do. That's our, our, our gunnel. I'll let that dry before I do anything else to it, that boat. Now then. Uh, let's have, I'm going to put some of this greeny stuff uh, in in here. Let, let's let's fill it fill in that that uh, that mound. I think I'll use that smaller brush for this because I was struggling a bit with that one. Get some green on there, and I, I think I'll start off with a pale green, and then I can always add to it, make it make it darker in, in areas. Where, away, away from the light. So we can we just get it washed in first, can't we? That's it. There's some rocks there, so mind the rocks. that They're coming down, the rock formations. Keep it coming down there. I like to get rid of the white on the picture because it it, it does it causes confusion. It it affects the, the colour balance in my eyes when I'm relating to a different colour. And composition wise, by the way, folks, the uh, you, you'll notice that, that a lot, well, I've seen a lot of, just a lot of competitions in that, and 
sometimes people paint and they put the main object right in the centre of the picture, about here, which, which it, it, it leaves the eye nowhere else to go. So always obey the, the rules of, if you put it on the thirds, they call it the thirds, it's the golden section, but, and that's a bit complicated, but all you do is, is if you imagine that it's got like a, a noughts and crosses board on, on the picture, where the crosses are, on the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, is, is the focal point of your picture. And if you put it there, people will, will feel happier with it than if you put it in the centre. So if you can remember that, it's, uh, it, it's, it's useful to know. Right, that's our undercoat for that. And of course, it's, it's going, to be, going to be darker on, on the left hand, left hand side because the sun's on the right, isn't it? So we can darken this side a bit. It comes down here. And these lines I put on, on this, this hillside, by the way, what they are is uh, when pe people visit this, it's, it's a, I don't know if it's National Trust now, but, but you, you, you visit it, and it's, uh, it's, it's these paths. You, can go, you walk up these paths here, around there, and they go around the back, and then go in the castle, or the, the priory, wherever you like to call it. So it's, it, they're, they're there for that reason, because they're paths, or paths. Depending where you come from. Paths, paths. So, so confused in the, in the English language. I mean, I, just, I don't see where the, there's an R in grass or, you know, it's. Or like in, in in the city of Bath, it's Bath, isn't it? But but no, that's that's not Yorkshire, so I, will, I might not be right. It's just my opinion. But if you say grass, grass, now grass is grass. And and if and yet if, if well, no, I shouldn't say. But if they're looking at a donkey or, or or call it an ass, they call it an ass. They don't call it an ass. We call it ass. So, so it, is, it is a bit confusing. Dot com. Anyway, let's, I'm, I'm, I'm twiddling on what I'm mucking about here. Let's get these darks in. Got some of these darks here. Dark on that side. Soften that, soften that edge there, and sort of soften it into there, keep it nice and pale there, where the sun's hitting it. It's air dry time, folks, just to get that, so I can, I can work on it. Next job, well, well we've got this, this priory, or this, this castle, whatever you like to call it. Now, what, what I'm basically going to do with this one is, is I've got to use, use darks, or shadows, to, to give an indication of shape. That's the only way I can do it, really. So I'm going to do some, this, this nice, this nice colour, this, this colour we've got for downstairs on the, on the skies and stuff like this, this colour. I'll, I'll reset it a little bit, smart it up a bit. Keep 
that down. Because the curls would come down into that rock there, because it's it's it seems it's it's hewed out of the rock. It's, I think that's where they got it from. It's a fascinating island. You must go there sometime. I I, I spent I spent well, the, ten years in my working life. I, I spent ten years in 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 uh, working in Newcastle. A, a lovely town. I love the Geordies. Beautiful people. And uh, and I had I had about oh, 40, 40 en mobile engineers repairing washing machines and things like that. So sometimes they had to go under the under the island because they have washing machines as well and they break down as well. And and I remember one of my lads he, he says he went on the island he was he was struggling on this particular job. It was he, he was taking longer than they thought. And he, he was took and go with the tide coming in. How he got back? Anyway, he thought he risked it along the along the roadway with this before it was the tide was coming in. Anyway, he didn't make it. He got halfway, and his blooming car was we, we lost a van there. That's that's another story. I'll not tell you what I told him, what I said to him. Right, air dry, folks. Rigger on this now to put a few windows in or holes where they shot arrows through. I'm sure they did. You know, no, you know what they're in these old films. They shoot arrows through these windows, don't they? So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do a tweet of that into it. Get that sorted out. Right. There's some windows up here in this tower. You know, it's a lot better with me glasses on. I can see what I'm doing. I was really struggling yesterday. I said, if if you if you paint that uh, Tuscan Palmos, if there's anything wrong with it, you, you'll know why now. It's not bad though. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Sorry about that, my phone's ringing. That's not, it's not a dog I've got, it's, it's a bark on my, on my phone. I should have switched it off, I usually do. But I get so excited about painting, so... Uh, oh, the posty has got three windows there. Some down here. No, that Tuscan farmhouse, I bet that was being big. I bet this is a building, I bet you can get some lovely being big here. From a big window down here. That's nice. And uh, I'll put a bit of castellation on here. And some on the top of this one. Twiddly thing across the top of that that tower. I think we'll have one across that one as well. Right, and shape some of this now. I better put one down here as well because they they'll have nothing to look through. And just here there's a there's a pole, a flight pole thing. I'll paint that white when I get it later. So, right, let, let's, while that's drying, I want to put some sculpture in it on these, these rocks here. And I shall use that, that sky colour, that, that dirty brown, that burnt umber, we'll, we'll put some of that into it and get some, get some darks into it. So the light from the right, so we're going to get some darks in, in this side, aren't we? 
as it comes down this rock rocky formation I hope you're enjoying these paintings, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm love it, love doing them. I say I'm, I'm usually on, on ships doing them, and uh, on the ships I paint uh, the, 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 they're so restrictive for space and uh, and also on, on time. So they, they give me they give me an hour uh, to paint a picture. And I, I'm like the Keystone Cops at times because what I'm trying to do is is, is I get classes of oh, it could be up to fifty, and what I like to do is I like to stand up and, and go and have a look at what they're painting, which takes a lot of my time up. Uh, and Carol says I'm, I'm I get a bit too rude with them, but uh, oh, if what I do I, I tell the truth about the paintings. And I think that that's they, they've gained more by that because if I tell them, oh, I've go around and say, oh, everything's lovely, they're not going to learn anything, are they? And I think it's better to say, well, that's rubbish, you know, or, or something like that, you know, in, in a nice way, than say, oh, yes, it's wonderful. So that that's that's the way that I perform, and uh, it it seems to work because people come back again, and and it's we, we have a lot of fun, and because because that, we we make it fun, people enjoy it more. And they paint better pictures as well because they're relaxed. But uh, they, they're 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 on holiday. They're enjoying themselves, and they don't have to give me some stick. I'll tell you. So I, I have to be on my metal every time. I tell you, they, they were talking about the last one. With Fred, were, Fred and Mabel. Mabel was up behind the behind the bale of hay or something. I'll not tell you what they were talking about. But it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't cutting corn. Right, I'm putting some darks in here. Sculpturing the rock formation. It might seem a bit of fiddly, but it's, it's, it, it does the job. And it makes it look as though the, the rocks are, it, it's, it's standing in, in, the, in the rocks and it's, it's not just plunked on top. Some down this side here. Right, that's all right there. Give this a bit of shape now. I'll put a bit of this this colour. Uh, left hand side is going to be darker, isn't it? So let's darken that a bit. All I'm doing is I'm adding a bit of that that dirty brown colour what we're using in the sky, and I'm pinching a touch of that sunshine colour where I'd left. And I'm just using that to because it's the the shadow side of the the building. I'm, I'm going to just put a, a touch of dark in there just to give it some shape. And I say, you don't have to copy my colours. If you want something different colours, you like something different, you paint it your colours. It's your painting. You do it. I love you to have be free spirits. That's what, what it should be. You do get some interesting pictures, though, as you, as you go around. We were painting the sky once, and I walked around and saw this bloke, and his sky was not blue, it was green. And I said, what, what, what are you doing? And he said, uh, well, you, you said, you've you got some numbers on, on his palette, and his, I said, you, I, I said, paint, put number, number, number eight in it. He said, you didn't, you said number nine. I said, no, that's eight. He said, right, you watch. And he counted. And he counted nine and put his put, put a green in. 
we, we, we had a good laugh about it. And I saw him at the bar later. I said, do you know, Frank? He said, you, you, you're going to laugh. He said, I've got a degree in maths. I said, well, you didn't work on the palette, did he? But uh, well, I meet some lovely people, really lovely people. And we have a good laugh. And that was, that's what life's about. You know, whether you're locked down or what you're doing, enjoy life. I'm just twiddling on it. I'm, I'm, I'm rabbiting on because I'm just doing some filling in here. I'm just shaping the tower, actually. Just make it, making it look dark on one side. We, whatever you do, you, you, you do your towers how you want as well. So it gives them some shape, doesn't it? Some on this side here. I want to square this one off a bit here. Like a buttress. I've, I've got that word from the church, you know. They have buttresses. I enjoyed doing that Aberdeen church. That, that was good. I said, that's a lovely little church. In fact, the church in, in the village where I used to live, I don't live there now, but that church was 12th century. And, you know, we've, I, I go on these cruises and and, and we, we pay to go and visit some buildings that's two and three hundred years old. They, 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 they're quite new. And they, they, mind you, they get away with it. So somebody, somebody pays. I don't pay. Because what I do, I do this escorting. You, you, you see, every, every tour is an escort. And if I volunteer for that, like a good Yorkshireman, I go free. So, so I have a lot of fun there as well. So I've seen lots and lots of things, interesting things as well. Yeah. We shall paint some of them later, I think, hopefully. That's got a, a, a ramp across there like that. Like a, like a, a walk where people could walk on there to just indicate that. And this is, I said, they put this into the rocks here, link it in. Make a real fortress of it. It's a bit of a, a bit of a dodgy bit there. I'll put another buttress in there. It's looking a bit dodgy. Just get me a bit more of this brown out of the sky. Pop it down here. Right, that, 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 that'll do it. I'll stop filling now on that. That's enough for now. Right, next job. I've got a, uh, some poles here. I've got a pole for the boat. And uh, I want some people in. Definitely want some people in. And I'll tidy this grass up at the front. So this pole here, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to use this, you, 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 you saw me using the gouache before, didn't you? So what I've got to do, I've got to find that, find that credit card, if I can find it. It's looking about somewhere. And I want to do a straight edge on that, if I can find it. Excuse me a second, folks. I'm, I'm struggling on looking for credit cards. She's probably tending to try to glue it together again. Not to worry, not to worry. I'll manage without it.
not too many. All right, I'll manage without it. I can't find it. So what I'll do, instead of instead of sort of uh, worrying about that, a bit of paper here. That's my test paper. So what I'll do, I'll just paint the edge of this test paper. I hope this works. As I say, it's live, folks. There's warts and all on this. There's no hiding places on this. Right, I've, I've just caught the edge of that piece of paper. And hopefully, I'm going to put that edge of that paper on here. And it's, it's giving me a little bit of a bit of a mast on there. Give another, another, give another coat while I'm at it. Right, let's try it again. That's better. Missed a bit at the top, but not to worry. Right, so that's that's our our mast, if you like, uh, on the boat. I'll leave that for a bit. I could have done that credit card, I must find it. I'll get used again sometime. And then there's a... I've got a, a mast at the top there. On top of that. Just there, I want to put a dark in there. Right at the top of the, the priory is, is a... Is a a pole, isn't there? Just here. So I've, I've got a chisel brush here, which is handy for doing this. So we'll put that chisel brush in there. That'll do. We've got these these poles to do here. So I'm going to use. Uh, uh, yeah, they've got some that lovely sky colour. That sienna. Use a bit touch of that in there. Lovely, and that chisel, that chisel, it does help me to to keep a bit of control on these things now. Of course, while you're doing this, the the light is from the right, isn't it? So the left hand side of the poles will be in shadow, won't they? So we'll have a bit of a touch of dark on that side there. That's giving that pole a bit of shape, and, and some of on this one as well. That'll do on that. Right now, I think I'll put some. We need. Oh, we can sort this grass out first. It's a bit taking a bit longer this piece than I thought, but we'll uh, we've got to sort some of this this grass out because it's. I make it a bit darker in areas. Bit more blue in that. And uh, we'll put some flicks of green in here. It'll all that all that see see I say it's rough rough stuff this, it's, it's not it's not not alone. So just flick some greens which which overlapping or sticking out of the, 
the, the grass, and you can see it against the sea. Same with this boat here, it's, you can put some, put some grass up against that there, it'd be nice. And also, it, 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 it's, it's, it's separating this hill, or hillock, or whatever you call it, away from that, that grassy, grassy plain just there. And I'm not going to get too bogged down with this, it's just... Flick, 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 flick. Flick, 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 flick. I'll do. So this is this is in the foreground and it's it's brought it forward a bit. I could even put some uh, this 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 uh, dark cloud colour. That's the burnt umber and the ultramarine. I'd even put a touch of that in there to darken it down a bit at the foreground here, like this. This will bring it really forward, this, uh, this grassy area. I've got a, the brush is too big for what I'm trying to do there, so I'll get the rigger again. That rigger's important to me. That rigger, when I can find it, a bit disorganised it here. Oops. Rigger, rigger. There it is. It's hiding. So we can flick some of these these darks into here. front of them poles and that, that'll, that'll keep them linked that way against the, the boat there. Some across here. Windswept it is. But what a view off the top of that, that if you ever go there and up on the top. Fantastic. Well worth a visit. I don't know where, wherever you live, it's, you put it on your, on your bucket list. It's not bad. You don't have to go abroad and stuff like that to get some beautiful scenery. We, we, we're surrounded by it. Right, so that, that's that bit. I want to put, there's, a, there's a, a dark inside that boat there. I want to put a bit of a dark in there just in this piece here. That interior. And what would be nice if it, it's, it, it's uh, put some shadows on that boat and that, and, you know, well, I'll not do shadows, I'll get a few figures in first, must do that. Right. Uh, It'd be nice if, if, or Fred, Fred, Fred's been here, he's, 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 he knows what he's doing, Fred. So I'm going to put him a Fred jumper on here, and he's, he's fiddling with this boat. Here he is. That's it, Fred. Foreground stuff, Fred. He's got his arm under the boat there. Smart looking lad. He's well travelled this Fred, I'll tell you. What he doesn't know about travel is not with his business. Put some dark trousers on. He's, he's, he's leaning forward, see, he's, 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 he's have a look at his boat. He's going to make sure that that 
that things are all right in the boat before he, 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 the tide comes in. Ed leaning forward. The jumper running into his child, I don't want that. So we can take it and take that stuff out of there. There he is. He'll have some dark on this side, won't he? Because that's away from the sun. Right, and, and I, I, I can't, I, I sort of put one or two people in. These are people that's up on these paths here. There's one or two people climbing this path. They're, they're going to be very tiny people here, you see, as they walk up these paths. They've paid the money and they're off, they're off up the hill there. Keep changing the colours, whatever colour you want to put in there. But don't do them too big, or they'll be giants. They'll be all travelling up here like this. A lot of cagoules on and all sorts. It's a bit drafty here. Put some, put some blues in here as well. Just have, just have fun. Just, just, I'll put one or two in just to indicate what I'm doing. But you have fun. As they travel up this road. One or two up here like this. Right, I'll just dry that off a bit and then because there's, there's one thing I've got to do and that is put some shadows in, haven't we? we, we the light from the right, don't forget. So the shadows will be from, well, shadows will be on the left. It's important we get that right. I'll mix a bit of shadow colour first. That's the same colour as we had in the sky here, so I've mixed a bit more because I've run out. Touch of that. Try it on my test paper. It's a bit too dark. Just mix that up there, and let's see what we'll see what we can do with this shadow. Oh, I've got to dry it first. Under. Sorry about this, folks. Shadows, the most important thing, right? This this boat here, the, this side, will be in shade, won't it? Just here. Because the light's catching from that side, so that'll be in shade. And it'll cast a shadow down on this, uh, on the floor somewhere. I'm just going to mix a touch more of that, because it's... It's not strong enough, what I want. I should do. So a look. Right, so a look. So it'll cast a sh shadow down here like this. And it'll cast a shadow, Fred, won't it? Undulated on there. And we're going to get some, some shadow bits on, on here as well, aren't we? Away from the cross. Link all this together this hill and what we can also get is which we haven't covered yet have we is cloud shadows because if you get cloud shadows uh, on a on a hill or on a, on a flat plain now, uh, I'm going to put water on there first like that and I'll tell you for why because cloud shadows don't have hard edges 
So if I put a cloud gel in there, it's got to be soft edges, because clouds don't have hard edges, as simple as that. So that's another little tip you've got there for your portfolio. Right, let's let's sculpt you some of this this here hillside. Just mean some dark shade in this side here, because the against the light. Some of these these towers and that will be shady on this side here. So don't, don't don't go mad. You can just do some little bits like that. I'll sculpt you some some shadowy stuff in this side here where the, the hillside is. I'll get some shadow down here. To the stage where I take the brush off him, it's, it's, it's uh, very, very ready and nearly there. When I start looking around for things to do, uh, see if there's, a, there's a dodgy bit in the sky there. It's not to have a bird in there, be a gull today because it's at sea, isn't it? We'll have a gull in there. Let's get me a rigger and We'll have a gull. I don't, I don't know if you, can, if you can see this, but it's uh, just here. There's like a speck in the sky. And it, hang on, there's one there as well. It's not there, one or two gulls. So there's a speck in the sky. There's one here like that. So we'll do this speck. He's coming up here like this. That's one. That's one, that's another one up here. That's two. And another one. That's, that's, spot, that's moving, that's spot. That is. Oh, there's one over here. That'll do. I'll put one in here. So, it, I'm at the stage where I, I, I can start, I, I can put all sorts of windows in and window frames and all sorts, but 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 you, you lose the plot then. So I'd like to just say uh, that that's enough for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. This is Linda's Farm on Holy Island, just off the coast of Northumberland, and it's a lovely spot. Thank you for joining me, and if you've enjoyed it, give us a, a like or a tick or whatever they do and uh, subscribe and we'll send you the details of the next one no problem at all but for now goodbye folks goodbye see you next time